kind of what you want it to, though. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. So if, if you wish to advise advise us, and we'd be happy to schedule that for you. It might be smart to have it after the meeting for a flag, but they will know more about where people are landing on this. Well, it's, we've had some really good meetings out there. I think the, the, the last one was one of the few meetings I've been to where the public applauded uh, state and local officials for their actions. Uh, and a lot of people are on board with this, and a lot of a lot of people have mutual interest in their upland property owners and their title and property owners that care about their water quality. Uh, we have a lot of people that are trying to balance their needs. Uh, it's not just groups against each other. It's actually a lot of cooperation going on here. Uh, and being funded through that grant from the MRSC. It's helpful too. Uh, and this just applies to Mystery Bay. Only Mystery Bay. What about the rest of the county? No. Do you have people moving out of Mystery Bay, right? Yes. Since all this has happened voluntarily again. Yes. One question that arises is we have a good definition of Mystery Bay. Would you agree to all the stakeholders say it stops, it ends here, and it starts yes. here, or you feel that's an accurate statement? Yes. Okay. Commissioner Austin has Yes, one. okay. Yeah. I have uh, four, four questions. Okay. Um, First is, are there any precedents uh, to uh, closing uh, bays or small bodies of water to navigation? I, I know we have closures to navigation for public defense purposes, but uh, what about for health reasons or for shellfish? Federal, there's federal laws on navigation that, that also are part of this consideration. We're not preventing navigation. Yeah, because I, I was thinking that that would trump. Yes. I think the answer to that is no, unless it's national defense. Right. Um, second, uh, as with liquor licenses, can uh, SDPs uh, be sold or transferred um, to people? Somebody has a substantial development permit on a, a mooring buoy. And that individual sell it to another individual without going through the process again? The, the SDP, yes. Mm -hmm. They can. Yes. So they could, that could develop quite an economic value if we only have, say, 15 or 17 in Mystery Bay, and then people may bid them up, uh, kind of like other properties. There's some administrative tasks, but um, and I forget. We discussed this with the SMP. He has up to two boats currently on a buoy. The new SMP only allows one. Okay. Um, but yes, they can be kind of. Okay. And uh, how many illegals? Do, do we know how many illegal buoys we have currently? In well, they've ranged. If we have 34 legal, uh, sometimes the count's been up in the upper 40s, up to 60, uh, with the attention that the stakeholders and the county have been giving us. Those numbers have dropped down. Of course, it's winter season, people are relocating. Uh, so there's a range of uh, upper 40s to 60. Total or, or, or illegal. illegal. Total, um, total. 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 Okay. That means somewhere around 20. And of course, seven were removed. Right. And, um, that right. quote are unlawful. And uh, the final one is do we have studies, or do you know of studies on the flushing effects of, of uh, Ministry Bay Elmish? Uh, you know, how long does it take to uh, flush the water? I mean, we, uh, we know that in the Hood Canal it can take a long, long time. Part of the state health um, job with their shellfish classification is they have a hydraulic model that they use for disbursement and um, standard deviation. So they do calculate um, similar question that you're, you're, you're asking. Um, and they have certain percentiles. The water quality in Mystery Bay is, is good and meets standards. Um, and each year they analyze exactly um, the area you're talking about. How long does it take to flush? Uh, are there upland sources of water? Um, are there boat sources? And they might even do some dye testing, but more, mostly it's hydraulic analysis. 
Yeah, the, the standards are 10 for a marina, the national ones are 10 boats in an area, and all that's included in defining like what is an area, because it can be very different depending on the situation and all those different types of factors, is my understanding. Um, and then the contamination, though, from uh, discharge can be instantaneous, and uh, because of the shellfish industry, yeah, that's, that's an issue. Part of the mitigation measures we're looking at is perhaps there's both affidavits that boat owners can sign and or uh, agree to tablet, a dye tablet installation in the holding tank. So if there is a discharge, there's, there's no notice. Yeah. On the uh, one comment of, it says the Department of Health noted the areas listed as threatened due to the potential of pollution from a large number of boats. And you said so far there's been no Water testing, they haven't had water quality still. It's the number of boats. So in the 2008 analysis, they listed it as threatened because of the number of boats. Yeah.